Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use depth of field. Now, that depth of field, as you're going to see this in movies and in photographs, you'll see like sort of like a blurriness in the background. Sometimes you'll see like some really nice cinematography shot in a movie, and you'll see sort of just sort of the character or the object in focus, and then you'll just see a sort of like a blurriness on the end. That, that's the depth of field, and I'm going to show you how to do that in Cinema 4D. Now, if you go to your render settings, and you're going to want to make sure that you are in physical, and then you want to go to your depth of field ch uh, checkbox and make sure that is checked. So now, anytime you're going to use depth of field, make sure this is checked. So at this point, what we're going to do is we have this little scene set up. We have a camera and we have a few objects put in a cloner. This gives us a little bit of depth to work with so we can see objects. So what we can then do is if we go to the camera, we can go to down here where it says physical. You can see that we have a few different options. Now it's usually at eight. So and if so, I'm just going to do a render test just to kind of show you how this looks. Now you can see a little bit of the render. Now let me want to just double check here. I have a sampling uh, quality that's at high. So let me just do a, a quick render with the low. That way we don't spend too much time you know, watching it render. Now you can see that there isn't really much of a difference in terms of its blur. You can see a little bit of it. So what if I go down to our physical tab and we go to our f-stop you add eight. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it all the way down to one and we'll do a render. See how that looks. And we still don't see a whole lot. So what we can then do is we can go to our custom and we can choose, say, uh, 0 0.01 and now render. Now you can see that this really gets an exaggerated effect, but I just wanted to show you this, you know, in its most extreme and how this would look. So as you see this, and you can see a lot of grain, we can adjust that with our, um, with our sampling within our physical render uh, settings. And then what we can then do is we can go come back here, and we'll choose something a little bit more manageable. So we'll choose one, a little bit more practical of a number. So now you can see that we have a, a little bit of blurriness on our objects, depending on our, uh, our depth of field. Now, if we go to our object, you can see that we have our focal distance, a focus distance, excuse me, at 2000. I'm going to go to my uh, multi view so we can see our camera. We have our camera selected, and you can see that in outline of green. If you see, if you don't see this, you can go to filter, and we'll come down over here to where it says camera. We just want to make sure that's checked. And so, what we then do is we can use our orange um, area here these little nodes, we can pull this uh, to where we want. If you notice, if you look at the focal uh, focus distance, excuse me, and you adjust, as you can see how that changes. Or you can just use this value here, and if you notice my viewport, you can see that adjust. So at this point, let's kind of bring it down a little bit, just a, a sort of like a random number, so just so we can see what its effect are. So then when we hit render, you can see how this changes our render compared to what we had before. You can see a little bit of better focus in our new one. So what we can then do is we can adjust this uh, back and forth in order to get the effect that we want. Now we have this little arrow here that we can use, then use to choose which object we want to stay in focus. So I'm going to go to um, F1 so we can go back to our perspective view and I'm going to click on the arrow and then I'm going to bring it over here and click on an object that I want to have in focus. So I then click our render. You can see now that we have this object now is in focus and we have our other objects that still have that blurriness. So we can do this on any object that we want in our viewport. So click on again, click on this arrow and we'll choose this back one here. So we're going to click on the viewport with this little crosshair. Once we click on that, you can see the crosshair goes away, and then we can go click on our render, and you can see now that that is in focus. Now you can see that we have a little bit of a blurriness on our objects, there's a little bit of a grain, so we can clean that up if we go to our render settings, physical, and then we can choose sampling quality. 
we can bring this up to high and we can see how this might change our effect of our render. So if we go back to our render, you can see that we have a little bit slower render and you can see how this affects as we go back and forth between our low quality or our low sampling rate and our high sampling rate. And you can see how that high uh, sampling has cleaned this grain up a little bit. So that's depth of field and that's what allows you to give us a little bit more of a realistic look when we're trying to uh, render something out. We can also do this in post and say so Photoshop or After Effects, but it's something nice that we, we can have a, and have total uh, control over when we're in Cinema 4D.